AMD's RX 480 was the first sound of the Polaris trumpet and it was about time. A card from the red team that appeared competitive not by itself but when crossfired as two RX 480s in crossfire will likely compete with a single GTX 1070 and at around the same price point. If you haven't yet seen my coverage of the 480 you can check it out in the card above me. AMD's told me they're sending one to the studio so I expect to be able to pit that thing head to head against this R9 390 lurking in the rig behind me. However, for those still rocking those 1080p monitors, I mean even I do, this one's a 1080p ultra wide, an RX 480 might be a bit overboard. But what about those of us looking for more relaxed? let's take things a little slower graphics cards. Well, AMD has two solutions for you. The RX 470 and the RX 460. This video is covering the 470, but if you're interested in the 460, you can check it out in more detail in the card above me. So what's with this leaked info? First off, I should disclose the fact that these, these data that you're about to see are not confirmed. They could be completely made up. These people might just be making up these, these results just for the sake of attention. And if that's the case, shame on them. But for the sake of this video, we will rely on this data because this at this point is all we have to go off of. The source of these benchmarks is Tweakers, a Dutch technology website. They claim that AMD has quote-unquote released the benchmarks you're about to see, but I'll let you be the judge of that. AMD themselves haven't said much in regards to either the 470 or the 460, save a few lines of hype and a fancy debut of the card's design. And then we have two other cards here which are pretty exciting as well. We have the RX 470 and the RX 460. The 470 is really focused on excellent performance per watt, so it's 2.8x over the previous generation and you get full HD experiences, 1080p running 60 frames per second, gorgeous card. We'll have many, many different versions of this from our add-in board partners. And then we have the 460, which is really focused on eSports. So I heard about all those eSports fans in the audience. This guy is gonna be the best card in the industry. Less than 75 watts, cool, fast. I think you're gonna love these cards. So we're really excited about our new technology here. But without further ado, here are the purported benchmarks. Okay, so let's discuss what we just saw. The RX 470 is by no means a powerhouse, and it was never meant to be. However, what we can discern from these graphs is that the 470 is a much better performer, obviously, than its 270X and 370 counterparts. Starting with Fire Strike, the 470 received a score that was just over 57% higher than the 270X at 9090 versus 5787. This also places the RX 470 above the R9 380 and 380X, and just under the 390 at 10420. Oh, and did I mention at a price tag substantially lower than all of them. In games Hitman, Ashes of the Singularity, and Overwatch, the 470 wiped the floor with the 270X, yielding significantly higher frame rates across the board. All of this while maintaining a much smaller thermal footprint at 110 watts TDP versus the 270X's 180. It makes sense now why the 470 reference card only features a single 6-pin power connector, impressive performance and efficiency from AMD's Polaris 10 GPU. Now at first, at least from my personal point of view, the 470 appeared to be a distant child of the 480's, longing for the attention that the 480 will likely receive thanks to its competitive price point and performance. However, things changed for me today after looking at these benchmarks, assuming that they're relatively accurate. Here's what sealed the deal for me. The RX 470 specifications, in all honesty, aren't far off from the 480s either, so it makes sense. I made accurate predictions about the 480's T-flop value right at 5.5, and I expect right under 5 teraflops of floating point performance for the 470. I'll say 4.8 for now. Memory bandwidth is also slightly diminished at 224 gigabits per second, although it's unlikely you'll ever notice this in gameplay. Now as for price, WCCF Tech and others are expecting the 470 to retail for around 150 US dollars, about the same price as the current R7 370, the 470's older sibling. At this price point and level of performance, we're looking at double the performance of the R7 370 for the exact same price, 1.83 times the performance to be exact. The same can be said in terms of the R9 270X as well. I predict a great deal of competition from the red team this year, as well as
as the next. Now fans of the green, I hear you. Either of Nvidia's current flagships would blow these from AMD out of the water, but AMD hasn't released their top tier card yet either. Don't be so quick to judge just yet. If you like what you've seen in this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down if you feel the complete opposite, or if you hate everything about life, be sure to click subscribe and if you haven't already, stay tuned for future AMD build here on the channel. This is Science Studio. Thanks for learning with us.